Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Tavern Master. Today's beverage is a very nice and refreshing lemon tea. Very nice indeed. So welcome back to Tavern Master where in the previous episode we were mainly focusing on checking out these weird floating balls which are actually upstairs. We also did a lot of research and we're about to complete one of those as well which is the small hotel furniture and we also spent a ridiculous amount of money basically putting some cushions on the seats downstairs and that allows us to get some more customers because of a high prestige which means more money etc so overall pretty happy with our progress and those guys have just faced through the wall because of course they have um let's go for a research on maybe hmm i would very much like to go for unlimited bars followed by the new floor but that requires both of these so instead, we're going to go for guests per day. So yes, um, overall pretty happy with our progress. In this episode, we're going to try and do the rest of the upgrades down the bottom, but mainly we are going to look at getting some guests up here, which is probably what we'll do today. Here is a thief who has come to steal our things and has been told <laughs> under no certain terms that uh, that is not going to happen. We have refilled the food and drink. We have defended against thieves. We now get an elite chef, which is Henry. And are they on the payroll straight away? Let's go over to our staffing here. And yes, Henry is there. So Henry is maxed out on everything. Okay. So they're just downstairs now? Yes, there they are. There's our three our three members. Apparently you can rename them as well. Someone did say you can go ahead and uh, rename them. I don't know exactly how, but... Oh, there you go. You can just click in there and rename them if you need to. But we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to do that. So 208.6 generic units of guests per day. <laughs> I was going to say generic units of currency, but that is actually on uh, just over 5,500. So let's go ahead and look at this room and see if we can get this room upgraded to the maximum realistic level for the 2x2 two two size of this area which is going to be level 4 so over to our shop here and this is currently a 2 star rating so for a 3 star rating we need all the beds at level 3 all the wardrobes at level 3 we need 2 decorations and 1 bedside table so we can go for a double bed at rating 4 this is the strong bed here which is 1100 we could go with a single but we're going to go with the double uh, we've got decorations no misc yeah bedside table and you've got a writing table etc so we've got all of that available so what I'm going to do is actually sell the majority of stuff in here, I say the majority of stuff, uh, I guess it technically is, but we've only got three things in there. Curtains, the bed, and that there. So overall, oh, not too bad. Let's go for the strong bed, which will be placed in here. We're going to go for the wardrobe, which is going to be the level uh, level three, four, no, sorry, four wardrobe, which will go there. Obviously that is, oh, look at that. So already, even though it's only a two star, it's now 130 generic units of currency as opposed to 50. So it's pretty good. Bedside table I will put in here. I'm just going to rotate it. Actually, it doesn't really matter. That's now a three-star rating. So if we check on that, we can see that we have a three-star rating. And the only thing we need for the next rating is two windows. We've already got one window, so let's place another one. Now, the problem is we can't have windows on, like, say, like the left or the right because these are all in a big row. So what I'm going to have to do is put a window behind uh, here. So that'll be a window that goes in there. Obviously, that'll require... Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I do like an open, air, an open plan area, but that's going to be a little bit uh, undesirable, I think. And, oh, why can't I place... My kind of place that in. Um, there we go. There's that window. Wall texture like that. And that should provide us with a level 4. It is a level 4, but the money is only... Well, it's still the same. So, what's the point then? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, but it didn't actually cost that much money. And also, can I go ahead and place some more decorations behind that? We have got curtains somewhere and I can place some curtains behind that so I will do that because I think it would be uh, rude not to and there we go so there is our there is our um, bedroom sadly you can't color code this but at least it gives it something else extra so I'm just going to I'm just going to crack on and do the rest because quite frankly it was relatively quick to do and we probably have the money one two three wardrobes 
This is a, that's a level five rating. We don't want that. One, two, three. Nope, okay. Just end that then and go back to the next day. Down one floor over here, we'll get the walnuts. We'll get the fish. We won't get the ham. We will go for more mushrooms because we always seem to uh, max out on those. We're going to do similar thing for the... Uh, actually, we're not going to go for walnuts. There's no reason to do that, is there, really? Realistically, we don't need any walnuts at this stage. Research is extra guests. We need 50 gold members. Uh, if we check out... That's a film. Uh, although there's only one of them. Let's just put all of these on. And So 50 gold people, which is we have a 3% chance to attract them to our to our inn, our tavern, whatever you would like to call it. Our place of lodgings. Where the people can take up rooms in a lovely green bed with a nice wardrobe as well. So let's go ahead and probably put in some windows. One, two, three. There you go. Go over to our decorations. One, two, three. We'll have to go back into that. Change them. Oh, we could change them to green to match the curtains, but they don't match the curtain. Uh, sorry, to match the bed, but the the curtains do not match that. So what about blue? Um, blue looks okay, but we'll stick with the stick with the red on that corner. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? Shame we've got like these slatted windows. They're not actually open, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. So we need basically a bedside table. That's all this requires for the next. Rating so that is in misc bedside table and that is look at that so it jumps from two Up to a higher rating up to four uh, medium wardrobe So each one of those is 130 So that's four five 540 540 I think ish if we if we sell all of the rooms out, I mean it is possible that we need to do some more alterations there. But it is what it is. Extra guests per day is... Yeah, we're researching the points and then we need the the gold people as well. We can also set up another event. So, events on Saturday. We could run Battle Victory Celebration. Sadly, we can't run the pirate gathering because that requires this food, which we don't have. Um, although, realistically, we've completed those two. This one, we are working on. Uh, no, we need we need a lot more points, so that's not going to work out, sadly. So what we will do is go to Saturday. We'll set up a battle victory celebration and maybe look at getting some upholsters in to spend a ridiculous amount of money to increase our prestige the prestige of which is on 19,120 money wise we are just under 5,000 and that means that we can afford two <laughs> benches okay fair enough over to our building then and we'll go and sell that thing there over to seating lux bench which we'll place and, uh, yeah, we have to come out with that to then alter the colour scheme and then we'll start the next day. And there we are. So, 300... Sorry, 234 guests. If we were perhaps to upgrade the prices, increase that, would take us down to 73. So, it's not it's not realistic to do that because we have uh, positions for about 100 and odd people. There's the mushrooms, which we're not going to collect, but we will connect... Oh, I was going to say we'll collect the... We'll collect the... Um, The coconuts, but we can't. Well, we did. It just failed, which is a shame. You can see now we're getting so... Our people are much better at hunting and such. So we can set them on the go. So we have a couple of people are very unhappy. Alice, let me give you some more money. And hopefully that gives you, you know, more job satisfaction. <laughs> I don't think it will, but we're paying them more. And that is perfectly acceptable. Upgrade those. Let's go for Rosslyn here. Extra tips. And earn more. <clears throat> what have we got? It's earn more than 7,800 in any one day. Okay. 
and serve 100 gold customers by organising events. That's going to tick over any second, that's on 99 of the 100, and buy any ingredient 100 times. Again, that's something that we will automatically do, simply because of the... Uh, the nature of the setup. There's that serve 100 gold customers by organizing events. Sadly, it wasn't events, but it was still a tick over. We are on 5,009 generic units of currency out of the 7,800 required, but it's 8 p.m. So it is still possible that we can get that quest done. It is possible, it's unlikely, uh, but it's possible. Let's just level up both the leek soup and the vegetable soup, which again is going to increase our average prices, which also means a high percent chance of attracting those uh, those different people here. Research-wise, we're on 42 out of the 50 required for the extra guests per day. A straight-up flat bonus is actually pretty good. Um, Money-wise, we're on 11 p.m. We are not going to, sadly, uh, get that done, I think. That's the, the earnings. We're just going to be about, well... About a thousand off. Uh, yeah, 6,905 out of 7,800. So, less than a thousand. But it is what it is. Okay, back over to building then. And once again, sell and then sell. Go down to our seating. One, two. And then alter the colour schemes to be something like that. Do we want to change the colour schemes, actually? Like, say, for example, the middle one. Do we want to change these as, like, blue? Do, what will it look like if we change... The seating, because at the moment it's just very samey, isn't it? Let's just see what this looks like in a sort of royal blue. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad, but what about the like white linen? What's that look like? Don't like that. Doesn't really make sense in this context. And then there's the purple. Now I don't mind the purple. I bet if we colour it, if we have a colour coordinated, they won't sit on it. Like, for example, if we have the purple uh, for purple guests and gold for gold guests. We, well, we do, there's no uh, gold colour in here. But we're just going to stick with the red. It's it's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. And then start the next day. So let's see if we can get the income that I mentioned. Uh, buy ingredients 100 times is now claimed. Own 24 tables. Okay. That is something that I can probably do. We've got this table here that's right near the fire. I'm very tempted to maybe put in a bigger table. All guests have been served. There's an additional 2,000. If that has gone towards the earnings, which it has, it's possible we can get that done. Okay, that's fine. Um, I didn't actually see last night whether people stayed in our rooms. I just didn't catch that, which is a bit of a shame. So we'll, we'll have to see about that one. So this is the uh, guests per day, and we're on 39, but remember we have 80 guests of the gold type, so that'll be done very, very shortly. After that, I'm going to look at maybe big hotel furniture, and then we've got that line done, and then we can go for the fireplace grill, and then the unlimited bars, and then new floor, and whatnot, and then unlimited kitchen. But by the time we've got new floor, not really too sure exactly what we, what we need to do. Yeah, we have got over here then mushrooms, which we can't empty. I'm going to say yes to that because it doesn't look like we're using any of those uh, meats, which is a bit of a shame. It's going to select a couple of people here for our fishing. Strawberries, I'll have a quick look. And, see about, and cheese as well, we'll have a look. Uh, cheese or strawberries were completely empty on one chest and the other one's half empty. The cheese were on uh, 43. So we definitely need strawberries. So we're going to send one person out for strawberries and a couple of people out for coconuts. No, I'm not. We don't need to, don't need to do that. So, yeah, we've also got a level up by the look of it. That is Redford. We'll level those up and give them extra drink carrying. There we go. And earn, there you go, that is earned more than 7,800 in one day, that is now claimed, and we just need the tables, and and the level up of any one food to the max, uh, to level 4, what are we on in terms of our food then, we're on, uh, 14 of 40 for our bowl of chicken, bread 30, uh, 23 of 40, Oh, strawberry cake. 
one more serving and we will get that ticked over. Oh, hang on, wait. Uh, just thinking here. Uh, for a start, I missed out on a lot of research there while I was going through it, sadly. Because that ticked over for our extra guests and then I didn't assign it to this, so my mistake. Apologies. Bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I think that event that we just ran, it's... Oh, no, it doesn't. It, it's not asking for strawberries. Okay, fair enough. So next day then, uh, new quests. Defend against thieves, serve 190 customers. Current guests per day is 280. So let's see if any of that actually happens. So we have green beans, yes. Fish, yes. Coconuts, yes. And mushrooms, which we're not going to pick up just yet. We are going to say extra fish uh, on 100%. And then walnuts on 100%. And then coconuts on 92%. That seems quite reasonable to get that one done. So we've got the extra guests per day. So that's all right. That brings up to 280 guests. If I was, to example, increase that. That's 119 guests. I think we'll end up putting that up. 190 Oh, it's 190 customers. It's not per day. It's serve 190 customers. Increase the price. There we go. So less guests per day, but it doesn't matter because we can only serve a certain amount anywhere. And I do want to keep an eye on upstairs to see if we do get some people staying in these rooms as well. I'm wondering if getting a better carpet would work out there. Carpets. We've currently got medium carpet. This one. So the colours don't actually matter. It's just the length of the carpet. You've got like small carpet as well. The idea of a carpet next to the bed. Or is the green one better? I actually prefer the look at that one. So we'll sell that carpet and that carpet. So you're not stepping out to a cold floor. There you go. <laughs> it's not too bad. They're all the same. It's like a chain. Like a chain pub or whatever. <laughs> uh, no need to pick up those mushrooms. No need to alter the menu. Although, as I said, this strawberry cake... We are one level off getting that to level four. We're on 22 of 60, is that? 50 strawberries. So we can store that stuff. And I'm waiting for strawberry cake. Is that strawberry cake? No. That's a cherry cake. Strawberry cake. We're waiting for that. So we're keeping an eye on this. <laughs> See if we get any strawberry cake. Doesn't look like. No serving there. And oh, here we go. People are staying in the rooms. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Come on. Are people going to stay in the other one? I don't think they are. Yes, they are. So each one of these should give us 130. Pretty good. Right. Well, back downstairs then and wait for those to clean up. I think we can afford another full row of fully upgraded... Tables and chairs. One, two, three. Uh, Lux bench. No, we can't afford all of them. But we can get the majority of them, which is the main thing. Start the next day. Guests per day is now 165. So you know we've reduced stuff, it's still okay. Research-wise, we're still looking for... Uh, that guest, the golden guest, so we're going to have to do a battle victory celebration once again. Fish has been collected, strawberries have been collected, we're going to go out for some more strawberries, mushroom we don't need to pick up, cheese, uh, what we like for cheese, uh, 41 and 50, yeah, we don't need any more cheese, so I don't think I need much else, we got, we're full on ham, that's full on the ham. More, maybe coconuts, but I don't think... What uses coconuts? 
Sims fish. Let's level this person up. Increase their speed. Roslyn, increase their pay. Just going down the board. Everybody seems to be quite happy, which is great. That's brilliant. Uh, serve 190 customs. That'll take over in just a moment. New recipe will be done. Oh, hang on. We might be able to cancel that thing that I set going. Because that is now a new recipe. So let's just have a quick look. Going to pause it over to menu and events. We now have smoked ham, which I can turn on the menu. That requires ham and broccoli. Broccoli is... which is vegetables in the game, so that's fine. So we don't have to do that. Ham is on 50. Ham is on 50. So actually, we can go over to our events here. Cancel that battle vi victory celebration. And set up a pirate gathering, which is 120 guests serving ale and mead for 11. Reward is 2,400, and you can see uh, the bonus there. So pretty happy with that. That's good. Let me go over to our seating and place that in there. Just going to unpause it for a moment while we get some more people. And that means that tomorrow we can get that extra research done. I'm just waiting for the money to tick over so we can place another one there. And then I will look at putting something else in here. We might be able to fit a long table in. I was very tempted, and still I'm very tempted, to shift this in the corner. It's nice where it is, but maybe shifting it in the corner a little bit more. It's not going to give us any disadvantages, but it does afford us some more space and some more, more tables and such. Which is obviously of some financial benefit for us. So we'll change the colour scheme of that, we'll change the colour scheme of that. Luckily, people can still sit on it while we dye it, so there's no big problems there. And, yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go, oh, there we go, look at that! That is our new... Our new meal. What was it, the smoked ham? That was gammon. Smoked ham. So we've got, oh, I think it's a silver tray. Nice ham joint there. Sliced up, nice and thickly. Some greens, looks to be... Maybe some lettuce there, some spring onions, cucumber by the look of it, and that does appear to be... Is that an apple? That is, that is an apple, I think. I said a red onion in the previous episode, or previously, but yeah, it is what it is. It's fine, and I'm sure people will absolutely love it. I mean, or not, I, I have no idea. So, once people have left, I know we don't have the money, but I am going to keep an eye on this and see if we can upgrade that uh, upstairs we can see that yeah this is this is working up here this is working perfectly fine for for our um for our hotel let's go to the menu and i think ah oh, no shame I'm gonna level up the roasted fish it's the strawberry cake we just we haven't leveled up the strawberry cake bit of a shame but what is not a shame is the pirate gathering so Let's have a quick look once they've all filtered in. We're going to pick up the fish, pick up the walnuts, pick up the coconuts, get some more strawberries, and don't need the mushrooms. We will go for more fish. Set that going. Job done. Here's the pirate gathering. So, we have all different types of pirates here. Nice little tricorn hat there. Like it. I mean, is that a wig or is that is that natural? Either way, I had a bit of work done there. Got some more grizzled sailors. Oh, there we go. That's the cliche one. Eye patch. Big, big hat. Feather in the top. Yeah. This is the pirate meetup. White shirt. Eye patches again. Yeah. Go upstairs. Hang on. Go upstairs. And same thing. Nice. Menu. We have... Uh, something's levelled up. It's a smoked ham. Already the smoked ham has leveled up, which is realistically... Was realistically going to happen anyway. Uh, let's go speed climbing stairs for Ada there. And I think that's okay for the rest of it. We do have a quest, which is serve only main courses for the whole day. That's the new quest. Defend against these ones. Own 24 tables. Reach 4 stars with any food. So we're still working on that. Okay. So 102 guests. So we need to serve more guests. If we were to put in a new table, what table would fit in? Well, this would fit in there. We'd have to move things around, but it should be fine. Um, if we were to put in a longer table, would that fit in as well? It would, but I'd have to shift this down. I could put in a high-rated table. 
there and there. That would mean one, two, three, four. It means they're back right near the fire. So actually, I don't really like that. So I may just put another one of these in. I haven't yet decided. Maybe look at over here. But the main take... I mean, we could put one in there as well. But I don't like the idea. We did have one originally, but it means walking past there. And didn't really like that. We could build the downstairs similar to this. Uh, how many do we have upstairs? It is uh, 4, 8, 16, 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16. So actually upstairs can serve a lot more customers. With the difference being that, you know, it, it, it's... Yeah, we can use these. Okay. That's curious then. If we were to get rid of these long chair, uh, long ones and have it built like this, we'd actually serve a lot more people downstairs. Do we want to alter that? I do and I don't. I like this setup. I like this arrangement. Serve only main courses. That's now claimed. What are we going for? 800... Generic of currency for the next upgrade, followed by a new recipe. Okay. Um, Research-wise, still working for big hotel furniture. There is a thief who has been persuaded not to enter the premises. I'm going to pick up that, defend once against thieves, and earn more than 7,400 in any one day is the new pickup there. Okay. Strawberries, yes. And we're going to research... Probably some more. I reckon ham now because if we check this out, we'll see that. Oh, yeah, ham's low. Ham is a lot lower than previously. Okay. So I'll pick up some ham. Uh, don't need to pick up anything else because I do want to save up that cash for more stuff there. And strawberry cake is leveled up, which means we can reach four stars in any food. That is a new level up there. Let's go for increase money for, say, desserts on that one. And another level up for Liv here, who we're just going to put to reading speed has increased. Alright, good. So yeah, if we were to alter this, what would it be like? Well, we'd have... It would be similar to this. Difference being that we wouldn't have the stage, we would have seating at the end. And that would then work back over. But we wouldn't be able to have this corner, because that's where the entrance is. So we'd have to sell all of these... And put the others in. Have a little in there. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, though. Level up the smoked ham. That, people love that smoked ham. Absolutely loving it. Uh, the problem with that is, though, we're getting rid of these long benches. But the long table has eight people on it with 100 prestige. Lux table is four people, and we can fit two in to its one. So the same amount of people... But the prestige is 500 as opposed to the 100. And that's before we put in the really expensive seating. So, I don't know what the best course of action would be. Either way, these areas are currently rated 4 stars. 5 stars requires 5 star beds, 5 star wardrobe, a fireplace and a bathtub. While a fireplace... Hmm, where are we at? We could fit in. I could put a fireplace in if required. What I'd do is put it there. Put a fireplace in there and move the wardrobe over to, say, this area and then have the bath there. We could make that with very few modifications the next level. I think we could. I think we could if necessary. Just depends on whether we think it is necessary or not. I don't know. I do like the more upgrade, the upgraded tables though. 17 more people for the big hotel furniture. Big difference we have is that 
we've got the Viking theme party, which we don't have the recipe for. Nor do we have the recipe for Merlin the Wizard, although that's the next one, I think. Which is 60 rare and 1 royal. And we do need to run some royal, I think, at some point. What have we got? Serve 208 customers. Serve 100 rare customers. We didn't earn all the money, which is interesting. Um... I'm not going to pick the strawberries, but we'll pick up the fish. And go for the green beans. Go for the fish. Yeah, I don't know what the best course of action would be, really. Level up Annabelle. Speed not carrying will level up as well. Prestige over 20,000, which is excellent. It's just money. We have almost the big hotel furniture, which we can get the bath and put those ones upstairs to level 5. I don't think it's something we need. Uh, what's our percent chance to get a, a royal customer? It's a 1% chance. So with 200 guests, you know, that should be, on average, a couple of, couple of rare. So we shouldn't need to run any events, realistically, right? To get that. I would hope that would be the, the case. What do we want to run? We're going to run the pirate gathering again. Because that will get the big hotel furniture and a big chunk of the fireplace grill levelled up. Just saving up this money for today and once it's finished I'm going to do something in this corner, in this area. We've got this fireplace. I don't know if that's the best place to put it. Best place to keep it there or not. Not picking up any of the stuff there. That's fine. At least our researchers are no longer wandering all the way to this corner to pick something up to then bring it back. <laughs> They've decided that that's not something they want to uh, go and do. We shifted everything back. Let's go for speed and climbing stairs. Another level up as well. A lot of people leveling up. That's Nancy this time. Increase uh, the tips that they get. What are we on for research? We're on 13. Okay. Uh, but we did earn more than 7,400 per day. Okay, good. So, just waiting for the staff to get that, which they've now done. Sell, sell, and then sell. So, what's the thing we... What, what can we do? Um, can we shift this? We can put that in the corner if we need to. And I don't particularly mind that. Um, let's let's just try it. So carpets, move that across. Uh, I don't like that the light is there, but I don't know what else I can really do. That's one thing we could do. We could upgrade the decorations to torches. Although, nah, there's no point. It, it, all, they all provide the same amount of prestige, so there's no reason to do that. So anyway, we've made some more room here. That's fine. So what can we put in this area? So if we go for tables, we can... We can if we want to have a really long seat. That is possible. The other option is another couple of Lux tables. Doing that, however, would mean them right next to the fireplace, and I don't really like that. Uh, we could off-center them, so one there and one there. That's still going to be a bit cramped, though. So do we just want a Lux table? I think that's realistically all we'll be able to afford. How that remove the fireplace, but I don't really want to do that. That would fit in. I mean, these will all fit in, but they're just going to be a bit cramped. Okay, I think what we had before. Seating, though, is like that. And I will move that back over. Like that. So sadly, not very good that. Doesn't have the, the bit on the bottom, but it is what it is. Up the top, how much would it cost to upgrade all of these seats? Um, each one 
would be a thousand. And there we go. Quite expensive. Change all the colours. Although it's a perfect opportunity to change the colours up here, isn't it? What's the green look like? I bet it looks hideous. Is it just too bright a green? Uh, yeah, that's that's not happening. Uh, <laughs> as much as I would like a different colour here, that's not it. That's not going to be it. Uh, obviously go downstairs while well, I didn't forget. And we can do this one as well. If it's only a grand each. Sell all of these. Seating. Whoops. Move them over. Move them over. Give them a level up. Uh, a change of colour, should I say. I mean, you could argue it's getting levelled up if it's uh, changing to a better high level colour. I like that. Yeah. Just add a little bit more. Prestige has now gone to 2,400. Quest wise, prepare smoked ham 23 times. Uh, surely then, with this event, <laughs> that's going to be done very, very quickly. <laughs> yeah. It is going to be done very quickly. There's the ham. We're going to go for more ham. Let's we'll get some. Oh, I don't need anything, I guess. Strawberries. Don't need to pick that up. Them. Don't need to pick that up. Cheese. I don't think we need to run for. Okay. So, still only 102. We don't have all the tables available. We can very easily get that quest done, by the way. And I'm, I'm actually going to. I'm going to cheated out a bit. So over two tables and town to the cheapest table. Uh, one, two, three. We're going to um, then pick up that own 24 tables to get the new recipe and then we'll immediately sell these tables because quite frankly the where the air where the where was not a desirable position was it? Yeah. Okay. So I think we'll leave it there for now. That is a bit of Tavern Master. We are serving... <laughs> A lot of mead and ale, by the look of it. Ale, beer and uh, mead. Let's have a quick look. It is ale and mead. Just ale and mead there. But we can't seat all of the guests. It just uh, it isn't going to happen. It isn't going to happen. So we'll leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Tavern Master. Next episode, we will look at uh, finishing off the upgrades here for the chairs. We may do the same thing outside, but obviously that's going to be... It's going to be a big job. It really is going to be a big job. I think realistically what's going to happen is we're going to get big hotel furniture. We're going to get these to level 5. And I think that's a reasonable place probably to call it. As much as I'd like to uh, get to the uh, extra flaws, I understand that it's not realistically introducing any more. Getting to level 5, that is a bit of a an achievement for our rooms. But after that, it's... Uh, it's just sort of looking at the guests, guest-wise. Yeah. Oh, hang on, wait, stop, pause, pause, pause. And quickly go for fireplace grill. Uh, because now that they're leaving, that should now start to tick over, which it is. Excellent. That's reasonable. Right, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Tavern Master. Next episode, we will look at, as I said, the, uh, the uh, maybe level five in the hotels. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed it. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.